Welcome to my full ship tour of MSC Meraviglia, the stunning Meraviglia class cruise ship owned and operated by MSC Cruises. Launched in 2017, this ship was the first Meraviglia class cruise ship under the MSC Cruises umbrella. Now, MSC Bellissima has joined that class with MSC Grandiosa and MSC Virtuosa, the slightly larger ships, being considered Meraviglia Plus class ships. This cruise ship really is something to behold. She's over 1,000 feet long and has got one of the highest ratios of sea view balcony cabins of any cruise ship in the world. There's lots to see on here, from swimming pools to theatres to restaurants to bars. So let's get on board and have a look around. Before we do though, if you do enjoy this video, please support my channel by clicking the subscribe button. This is totally free for you to do and massively helps my content to reach more people. Also, there's a thumbs up button underneath the video. You know what to do. We begin our tour today all the way down on deck number five of the ship and that's where you're going to find Waves Restaurant. This is one of the included or complimentary dining options on board and you may dine in here if you've been allocated this at the point of boarding the ship. I'll be showing you the other restaurants that you could dine in as alternatives throughout the course of this video. In this restaurant here, you'll find three different dinner sittings available. The first seating goes in around 5.30pm, the second around 7.30pm and the third around 9.30pm. You'll be allocated your dining time and venue at the point of booking your cruise, so you can always check before you get on board if you'd like to make any changes. Up next, just along from Waves, you're going to find the MSC Excursions Desk. You'll find this venue at the very bottom of the Infinity Atrium, which is the main atrium space on board the ship. This is where you can book your excursions, either utilising the staff at the desks during working hours, or you can come along 24 hours a day and book your excursions using the tablet computers that you can see here. Moving further across this venue then, you'll find the Swarovski staircases. Now these are world famous for MSC. In this space, you'll also find the Infinity Bar directly behind where we're standing at the moment. And you'll also find guest services. So if you have anything that you need support with while on board the ship, this is exactly where you will come. This space, I'm sure you'll agree, is absolutely beautiful and there's so much more to come. Up next, this is the Panorama Restaurant. We've now moved up one deck and we're at the very back of deck number six. In here, area guests can opt for any time dining anywhere between 5.30pm and 9.30pm. And there's also set dining times in here at half past five, 7.30 and 9.30. So you'll find a whole different array of cruisers dining in here. And if we move slightly further forward from the Panorama restaurant, you're going to find two more huge dining venues. I won't say the names of these because I will almost certainly pronounce them incorrectly. However, both of these venues are a direct mirror image of each other. For that purpose, I'll just show you one. In here, you'll be allocated this restaurant for either an early seating around 6 p.m or a late seating around 8.30 p.m. and the only meal available in these restaurants is dinner. I'm sure you'll agree looking around these venues that they look pretty grand. I was caught very off guard following some of the reviews that MSC gets for their food when I saw these venues because they looked way better than I expected them to be but more on that in another video. Now in between these two restaurants you will find this pretty glitzy wine cellar area. In here you will find a number of vending machines where you can purchase wine by the glass. It's worth mentioning the wine in here is not purchasable with any drinks package so you do pay extra to drink the wine in that part of the ship. Moving slightly further forward again you find yourself in Galleria Meraviglia. This is the main Galleria space on board and I'm sure you'll agree this is absolutely stunning. More on this later in the video. Just further up the Galleria, you're going to find Plaza Meraviglia. In here, you'll find a number of boutiques where you can come and do some shopping on a day at sea or 
at night on your cruise as the ship travels from port to port. It's worth adding that these shops do not open while the ship's in port and the ship has to be in international waters. Up next, just across the hall, is Ocean Quay. This venue is the onboard seafood restaurant and at the point of my cruise, this was also where you would come to book speciality entertainment. So if you're looking for a relatively distinguished meal on board, this is where you may choose to come. From my experience, this was the most expensive onboard dining option. I didn't dine here, so I can't tell you about the experience, but from a visual point of view, I was really, really impressed. Right next door, you'll find something else I was impressed with, which is the crepe and ice cream shop. Who doesn't love a crepe or an ice cream cone? All of this is additional to your fare, so you do pay extra to get ice cream from this part of the ship, and you also pay extra to get crepes. Directly across the hall again, you'll find MSC Excursions. This is another venue that you can use to come and book your excursions. So if you do find that the bottom of deck five is pretty busy, you can come up here and quite often skip the queue because lots of people don't realize this is here. Right next door, you're going to find the chocolate shop and coffee shop. This is one of my favorite venues on board this ship. You'll find a really nice quiet cafe during the day and you'll also find at night this turns into a much livelier venue because the seating comes directly out into the Galleria. One top tip that I have to give you for in here is to come along during the day and try a hot chocolate. They are absolutely excellent. While you're in the chocolate shop, be sure to check out all of the chocolate sculptures. I'll show you some now, but they blew my mind. I think they are so impressive every time I'm on the ship and you'll always find them created specifically for the ship that you're traveling on. So every single ship will have different chocolate models. Next door again, you're going to find the Meraviglia Bar and Lounge. This is one of the main entertainment venues on board, and this is also where you'll find one of the busiest dance floors on the ship. So if you are planning to come on your cruise and party until the small hours, this is probably where you'll end up. During the day, you'll find this is quite a quiet space, but at night, there's lots of activities in here and always live music. Directly across the Galleria are a number of shopping boutiques. From my experience, I found this to be mostly clothing over there versus jewellery slightly further back. Now, at the very front of the ship, let's talk about the Broadway Theatre. At the point of my cruise, you did have to book seating for the shows on MSC in the Broadway Theatre, but you didn't pay to attend any shows in here. Look at this theatre. It is so impressive. It is absolutely enormous. I have to say that the entertainment on my cruise was particularly good. I did really enjoy it. So take it from me, make sure you grab a drink, come in here and enjoy the show. If you are lucky enough to be traveling in Yacht Club, then there is a certain section at the back of the theatre where you can enjoy the show with a reserved seat. You can see it is quite far back, though I would have expected Yacht Club to be a bit closer. Moving up a deck, we're now outside on deck number seven, and this is where you'll find the promenade deck. This is a bit of a secret part of MSC Meraviglia, and I found not too many people would use this at all, which meant it was the perfect spot for me to come outside and watch the ship sailing out of port. If you are cruising on the inside or you don't like the crowds of the top deck, this might be the place for you. At the very front of the ship remaining on deck number seven, you'll find the Area Spa. This is the onboard spa facility and you will find a huge variety of options for you in here, regardless of what it is that you're looking to get done. You can come in here for a pedicure, you can come in here for a gent's haircut, a woman's haircut, you can get your nails done. Maybe you want to go all the way and indulge in a full spa treatment. If that's the case, don't worry, there are so many rooms in here and the team will gladly help you out. One facility that I absolutely love on this class of cruise ship is the onboard thermal suite. Look at the quality of this. 
In here, you'll find a number of relaxation rooms with padded sun loungers. You'll also find a number of spa baths, rainfall showers, saunas, steam rooms, jacuzzis, you name it, it's in here. The only thing I would add is that this facility can get quite busy, so you might want to check capacity levels before you go inside. Moving on to our next venue and leaving the spa behind, let's have a look at the TV studio and bar. This is directly beside the spa and in here you'll find this venue most commonly used for karaoke in the evenings and to be honest not a great deal during the day. This venue lends itself perfectly to karaoke. You've got the massive screen, you've got the stage, you've got loads of seating so maybe my tip for you is to make sure that one night of your cruise you head in there. From this deck you'll also get glorious views looking down onto the lower level of the Galleria but more on that in a second because I need to show you the Brass Anchor Pub. This is the onboard British pub and coming from a Brit, MSC have done a pretty good job with this venue. You can choose to relax inside with your drink in an environment that feels pretty similar to an English pub or you can sit outside at one of the keg style bar tables. In here you'll find a number of drinks that you cannot get anywhere else on the ship. You'll find a really wide range of beer. You'll also find a range of beer cocktails which probably doesn't sound ideal but again take it from me they're worth giving a try. Right next door you're going to find the onboard sushi bar. This is one of the speciality dining venues on board. In other words, similar to Ocean K, it's one that you pay extra for over and above your cruise fare. This venue does split quite nicely into two, with the sushi bar on the outside, with seating looking down into the lower level of the Galleria. And inside, you've got the teppanyaki bar. In here, you can expect interactive cooking displays while you prepare for your dinner and while you enjoy it. It's really good fun in here. And from a cost point of view, if you book one of the dining packages, it doesn't work out too expensive at all to come in here for what is a very, very different dinner. Advice that I would give though is that depending on where the ship is sailing, teppanyaki can be very popular, so you may want to book as soon as you get onto the ship. I mentioned earlier I would show you more of those views looking down onto the lower deck of the Galleria, and here you go, look at the views that you get from up here, it is remarkable. In this part of the ship, you're going to find the largest LED dome screen at sea. And every single day, you can be assured that you're going to see very different imagery projected up there. It's quite amazing. The next venue to look at, which is directly opposite the sushi bar and teppanyaki, is Butcher's Cut. This is the steakhouse on board MSC Meraviglia. In here, you'll find a pretty close, intimate setting that at night is pretty dark and it feels very like what I would imagine a New York steakhouse to be like. This is my favourite speciality dining venue on board MSC, so please give it a try. Further along the hall, this is where you'll find the Champagne Bar. This venue is very popular in the evenings and I can see why. It's located on the upper floor of the Infinity Atrium and the vantage points here looking into the atrium and also looking out to sea from the huge glass windows at the end really are fantastic. You can get a range of drinks in here and they're all included in your drinks packages. This is where you'll also find by day the future cruise desk so if you are looking to book another cruise while you're on board this is exactly where you're going to come. Now I mentioned the champagne bar was at the top floor of the infinity atrium so it makes sense for me to give you a look at that now. We've discussed a couple of different venues which are on the lowest level of this atrium. One thing that's worth mentioning is that just one deck down from where we are, you're going to find venues like the MSC shop. You're also going to find the photo gallery down there. So there are a few additional venues to check out if you are in the Infinity Atrium. And of course, the Swarovski staircases. Now spilling out into the atrium, you'll find your first taste of the onboard casino. Out here, you will find just slot machines. There's no gaming tables, but there's a pretty wide array 
of slots out here, I found on my American cruise, this was pretty busy. Moving slightly further along then, welcome to the main part of the casino. In here, you will pass over this reflective glass floor, which I really like, and then you find yourself on the main casino floor. The way the casino works on board this class of cruise ship, on the left hand side you'll find your slot machines, followed by your sports bar in the middle of the room, and over on the right hand side you'll find all of your gaming tables. I can almost guarantee you that whatever type of slot machine you're looking for, you're probably going to find it in here. So do not worry. At the very back of the ship, just slightly past the casino, this is where you'll find the carousel lounge. Look at the windows looking out the back of this venue, it is absolutely stunning. In here you'll find speciality entertainment, in other words, shows that you pay a little bit extra for. At the point of this ship's launch, MSC had a contract with Cirque du Soleil and the shows in here really are fantastic. Moving up to the very top of the ship now, welcome to deck 15 and this is where we look at our first swimming pool on board the ship. This is the atmosphere pool and this is arguably the main pool on board MSC Meraviglia. Here you'll find two relatively large pools separated by a raised divider. I find the sizes of the pools on this ship to be really really generous so you're not going to struggle here at all. Slightly further along you'll find the bamboo pool. Now this is an indoor pool with a fully retractable roof. So if you're cruising in colder climates like I was, the roof will be closed or if you do take this ship to the Caribbean, the roof will probably be open. Now this venue is split across two floors. It makes sense that although we're looking at deck 15, it makes sense to show you the upper level now. Up here, you'll find a number of different seating options, whether it be tables and chairs, loungers, deck chairs, benches, there's loads up here. And you'll also find a number of much quieter hot tubs on the upper floor that I think a lot of people downstairs don't know about. Back downstairs, you're going to find the bamboo bar. This is a poolside bar where if you're spending a bit of time by this pool during the day, then you can come here to get served your drinks. Further back, remaining on deck 15, you're going to find the marketplace buffet. This is the primary buffet option on board MSC Meraviglia. And one thing's pretty clear, and that is the MSC Cruises gets very mixed reviews when it comes to food and dining. I'm not going to go into that in detail on this video because today I want to focus on showing you the venues. But if you'd like to know more about dining and my thoughts on dining from MSC, then make sure you are subscribed to the channel and stay tuned because I'll get a full dining guide uploaded to cover every single venue on this entire cruise ship. So yeah, hit subscribe and stay tuned. Moving upstairs to deck number 16, the first venue to talk to you about here is the MSC Yacht Club. I won't be showing you inside here today, but this is the closed off exclusive part of the ship designed only for those staying in the suites on board. Next up, let's look at the MSC Gym. This gym is probably one of the best gyms that I've seen on a cruise ship in quite a while. I was really, really impressed with the range of equipment in here. I was also really impressed with the fact that even although I was on a sailing which had thousands of people on the ship, I could always find equipment in here. I would never come in and struggle to get on a treadmill. I would never struggle to get on a bike. I really didn't have any problems. So yeah, lots and lots of equipment in here. So do not worry. You'll also find class space in here. So if you do want to do a spin class while you're on your cruise, don't worry, you can do that in here. Right outside the gym is where you're going to find the virtual games arcade. This is the gaming arcade on board the ship. This venue is pretty small. The camera pan that you're seeing at the moment, this is almost the entirety of the arcade. There's a few more games just outside the room, but for all intents and purposes, this is the majority of what you've got on offer. You can save a bit of money by buying an MSC Fun Pass, which gives you 
a bit of extra gaming time. Further down the hall towards the back of the ship, you'll find the MSC Formula Racer. MSC Cruises have a partnership with Formula One, and since that was launched, they've got these really cool racing simulators on board some of their cruise ships. Right beside the racing simulator, you'll find the 4D Cinema and also the Flight Simulator. 4D Cinemas, I have seen them on cruise ships before, but I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a flight simulator. It's a really novelty bit of equipment to have in here. Let me know in the comments if you would use that. Right beside the flight simulator, you'll find the bowling alley. Yes, that's right, a bowling alley on a cruise ship. Initially, I thought this would be a total gimmick, but having played a game up here, I can confirm that I actually really enjoyed it. You'll find all of these venues positioned right next door to the Sportplex, which is the onboard basketball and sports court. Here you'll find loads of activities all during the day and also into the night where you can either send the kids up here or you can come up and try your hand at maybe even a sport you've never tried before. Or if you're a bit more like me, you'd rather chill out with a drink and you can do that here at the sport bar, which looks directly in to the sportplex. If you like to try and leave the children or the kids behind when you're on a cruise, then this might be the venue that you're looking for. Welcome to the Sky Lounge. You'll find this all the way up at the top of the ship, and this is one of the adult-only venues on board. So in here, you won't find any children running around. It's all adult-only, and the view looks directly out over the main pool deck. One of the main advantages with this venue is the sheer amount of glass. So come up here during the day and just look out over the ocean. It is amazing. Just outside, you'll find Dore Me Land, which is the onboard kids club. For obvious reasons, I won't show you around the kids club. I didn't have any children traveling with me. And there are loads of YouTube channels that specialize on family content. So head over and check some of them out. But for today, I'll just show you this part here. Further down towards the back of the ship is where you'll find the teen club. So if you are traveling with older children, they can make themselves at home with a range of hosted events along here. And you'll find the teen club joined on to Attic Club. Attic Club is, as the name suggests, the onboard nightclub. This is all the way at the very top, at the very back of the ship for the simple reason that it's the furthest away point from passenger cabins, so the party can go on until 2-3 o'clock in the morning up here. At the very back of Deck 18, you're going to find one of my favourite venues, which is the Horizon Bar. This venue then drops out onto the Horizon Amphitheatre and also the Horizon Pool, which is a fully adults-only area of the ship. From my personal experience, I find that back here, it is so chilled out during the day. You've even got sunken hot tubs here that hang off the side of the ship. I always found these ones to be much, much quieter than the ones further forward on the ship, so you stand a much better chance of actually being able to chill out. Back here, there are really impressive lighting installations and a huge sound system, so at night, this really does come alive, but it does remain adult only. Moving all the way up to deck number 19, the first venue to look at is Top 19. This is an exclusive solarium available only for those who purchase this benefit as part of their cruise. It's worth highlighting that this is not Yacht Club. I meet so many people on MSC who assume that Top 19 is part of the Yacht Club but it's not. So if you would like access to this, make sure at the point of making your booking, you book the relevant package. Moving slightly further back, let's look at a slightly different venue or attraction. This is the Himalayan Bridge, which is the high ropes course. Looking at it right now, it maybe doesn't look too high, but if you imagine being up there, looking off the side of the ship, and realising that you're essentially 18 or 19 floors above the water, it starts to get pretty scary pretty quickly. So yes, give it a go, you'll be fully strapped in, and it's actually a really nice way to spend an afternoon. Next door to that, you'll find the Polar Aqua Park. This is the onboard water park. 
And this is where you'll find a number of different slides, a number of different pools, and in here, there are attractions to suit adults, aka these water slides, but you'll also find plenty in here to occupy younger children. So whether you're traveling as an adult or whether you're joining as a family with younger kids, you should be absolutely fine up here. One of the questions I get asked most frequently when it comes to onboard water parks is what temperature was the water? I was cruising to New England and Canada, so I was on a cold weather cruise and the water up here was pretty warm. Certainly coming down the slides, it was warm. The pools, however, slightly colder. So don't worry about coming down one of these slides and freezing. The water was warm. And that's it. That is a full look round MSC Meraviglia, which is the incredible cruise ship from MSC Cruises. I really hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, it would be great if you would give it a thumbs up down below and also click that subscribe button to help me reach so many more people. Wherever you are in the world, thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video today, did you know that you can become a member of my YouTube channel for an exclusive behind the scenes look at some of the ships that I'm traveling on? If you're over on Patreon, then I would love to see you over there. All you have to do to join me on that community is just search www.patreon.com forward slash Fraser at Sea. Both my YouTube memberships and my Patreon site lead directly to me getting on more cruise ships and both offer a completely behind the scenes look at what's going on.